What's up? You turned in your exam. What are you going to do now? Well, I have three actions that you can take right after you did your exam to manifest that grade that you desire and the grade that you deserve. I'm excited to share it with you. Let's do it. Hello, everybody. It's your girl, Pizza, and I am back with another Love Attraction Good Grades videos you already know. Today, I'm going to be giving y'all three actions that you can take right after your exam that are going to help you manifest that grade because I know that's what you're here for. So let's just get right into it. The first thing you are going to do is validate any fears and anxiety you have regarding the exam. And then you are going to shift those fears and anxieties using affirmations. A lot of times after we take an exam, we usually have fear and anxiety regarding the exam we just took. And a lot of times the fear and anxiety isn't necessarily our fault. A lot of times the fear, the anxiety, the low emotions you feel after taking an exam can be the result of childhood trauma. Maybe as a kid, you got your parents got upset with you when you got a low grade or you got upset with yourself when you got a low grade. So what's really happening when you are feeling fear and anxiety after the exam is it's your inner child calling out to you, letting you know that hey I'm scared and now that you have the tools as an adult or as an older person now to comfort your inner child it is your responsibility to first feel that fear because if you don't feel the fear the fear is going to keep coming up or if you don't feel the fear and you keep doing things to distract yourself like go on Instagram or go watch a YouTube video or watch a movie when you know that you are feeling scared or anxious trying to pull yourself out of that emotion it's not going to work and the fear is just going to keep coming up and manifesting itself in different forms. So it's important to feel that fear immediately after taking the exam just so that you know that you held space for that emotion and once that emotion is brought from dark to light it is then going to be easier to manifest from a space of lightness instead of darkness. When the fear comes up what you're going to do is take that opportunity that moment where the fear and the anxiety is beginning to arise and maybe set a timer on your phone it can be for like five minutes or three minutes or however long you can bear the fear and you are just going to sit in that fear and that anxiety and you're just going to be like you're going to think about the worst case scenario and you're going to think about oh what if I get this bad grade or what if I don't get this or just just allow your mind and your body to feel the emotion and process the emotion because then you will be able to shift it. After you have held space for the fear and the anxiety and all the feelings of an unworthiness you have regarding the exam, it is now time to balance it out by holding space for the love and the light and all of the magic and beautiful divinity that is in your life. And so the way that you're going to do this is using affirmations because now you have a clear space to manifest from because the fear has been felt. Therefore, the fear is no longer in the darkness. The fear is now brought to light by you allowing yourself to sit in that emotion and validating your inner child so once that fear has been brought to the light it is now time to say I gave myself enough time to worry to freak out and now it's time to do something good for myself and what you're gonna do good for yourself is step number three that I mentioned in this video and also using affirmations um, you're going to use affirmations to help get yourself into a good emotional state because you're gonna think about those affirmations and visualize those affirmations being true to you and that is gonna stimulate emotions of success of feeling goodness all up in your heart chakra and then before you know it, you're feeling good about your test. So I made a video about affirmations to say after the exam. I will put it right here. Um, so yeah, that's the first step. The second step you're going to do is detach from the outcome. A lot of times when we really, really want something to manifest, we convince ourselves that we need it, that we need this grade or else we're gonna be the worst person ever, that we need this grade or else we're doomed for life. And that's not true. When you convince yourself that you need something to happen, you are creating lack because that you are putting out a vibration of, I don't have this and I need this. And it's kind of like you're just pulling on these strings that are just making you 
hurt and yearn for more and you're not trusting in the divine purpose and the divine plan of your life you have to be open to the idea that yo you might not get the grade that you want to manifest and that is okay because when you detach from that when you hear that statement you might not get the grade that you intend on manifesting and you feel okay you feel open to it you are allowing yourself to be open and ready to receive for whatever the universe wants to give you and when you're open and ready to receive and detached from it it's more likely that it's going to come back into your life because when you think about oh if i don't get the grade i desire and you start to feel fear emotion causes a manifestation right so when you start to feel fear about not getting the grade that you manifest and you just start thinking about not getting the grade that you're going to manifest and you start feeling fear you're going to manifest that so be open to the idea be like it's okay if i don't get that grade i am not attached i do not need that grade that grade is not going to divine me that grade is not going to ruin my life understand that everything happens for a divine reason and i can tell you this i literally what i got bad grades before i learned how to manifest good grades and had i not gotten bad grades i would have never made youtube videos about how to manifest good grades had i not got rejected from the college that i wanted to go to i would have never went to the college that i ended up going to and then i would have never manifested a full ride scholarship to go study abroad like there's just so many bigger things at hand there is such a big plan for your life and a purpose for your life so So when you detach and let go, you are open to trusting that no matter how this grade comes out, my purpose is still divine and my purpose is still big and there is still a big plan for me regardless of this grade. You don't need this grade. You don't need anything. You are worthy. You are divine as you are and that's that. Nothing could take away from your divinity, not even this grade. So This allows you to be open and trusting that if it's not the grade that I want, that's for a reason. And that might be a hard pill to swallow, but you gotta swallow it. (laughs) Everything is happening and unfolding perfectly. And as much as I tell you that, it's your job to really feel that for yourself. And once you begin to really feel that for yourself, you are just so open and ready to receive whatever life has to give you. And when you're open and ready to receive whatever life has to give you, you're going to get good things because you're not attached. You're not attached to anything. So you can't be disappointed. You can only be pleasantly surprised. The third step that you must take after you have finished your exam is maintain a good emotional state. So we have this connection to our divine or higher self or God or whatever you believe in. You are able to communicate to your spiritual aspect of yourself through your emotions. So when you are feeling good, you are manifesting things that you want to create. When you are feeling bad, you are miscreating. If you want to manifest a good grade, you want to make sure that you are feeling however you would feel as if you had a good grade. Therefore, one of the actions you can take is ask yourself, What are all of the emotions that I will feel when I manifest a good grade? Then ask yourself, what are some actions that I already do in my everyday life that cause me to feel this emotion? And then take part in those actions. Because when you take part in those actions, you are generating that happy emotional state. And when you're in that happy emotional state, it's easier for that good grade to match that vibration. Because your good grade is at a vibration of a good emotional state of being. So when you are resonating in that emotional state of being by taking part in actions that already make you feel that way, you already feel as if you have a good grade. So it is easier for that good grade to meet you exactly where you are at emotionally so it's important to pay attention to your emotions if you're spending too much time feeling sad and scared over this bad grade you are beginning to manifest that into your life so it's time to pay more attention to your emotions and learn how your actions affect your emotions and take part in actions that are going to keep you in an emotional state that make you feel as if you have already manifested that good grade that you deserve honey If you want to watch more videos about how to manifest a good high grade, they're going to be right here. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love y'all so much. You already know. 